help support your immune system for your next big adventure with Immuenza. Now, when it comes to making salads, we often have the same old boring salad around the table. But today, we're making a delicious roast veg and baby spinach superfood salad that is sure to be the star dish. And it comes packing loads of healthy ingredients to boost your immune system. Now, at this time, everyone is trying to find ways to make sure that you boost your immune system somehow, whether it's through food or drink, whether it's through exercise, just finding ways to try and build your immune system. So we've got the perfect salad for you today South Africa I've got an array of ingredients starting with baby spinach we've got if you can see it's basically like a rainbow salad if we were to call it that because we've literally got so many colors here we've got the green from the baby spinach the rocket we've got baby marrow as well we've got the red that comes from our cranberries dried cranberries some red pepper we've also got some aubergine eggplant uh, whichever way, whichever name you know it as. And then we've also got some red onion, some petty pans, and some walnuts. So it's quite a superfood salad. So if you're looking for something light, that's not the typical salad that you always find, then this is that salad for you. And to start it off, I'm not too sure if you can see this beautiful baby marrow that we have here. So what I did is that we grilled it up, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Because when making salads, it kind of gets boring when you have to make the same, you know, same steps when making your salad, always bo uh, boiling or steaming it doesn't have to be boring South Africa this is where you add the flavor into your salad so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grill the baby marrow what the what the smoking of it does or rather the, the grilling of it does it adds a bit of smokiness to it um, and basically that charring that smokiness adds a, a different kind of flavor actually to the salad, making it even more enjoyable. So all you do is I've used a peeler. If you don't have a peeler and you perhaps have a mandolin, that's also just fine. I just think that a peeler is much safer than a mandolin. So in there, I'm gonna go with a little bit of some olive oil. The reason I use olive oil, it's one, very good oil to use because of its health uh, benefits, but also because it has a high smoking point, that actually helps to make sure that it grills quicker on the uh, pan that we're gonna be using. So if you don't want to, you can use any other the oil but I prefer olive oil because it adds that additional flavor that you need as well and then all we do is we just start layering our baby marrow onto the grill pan here and like I mentioned here, I've added olive oil to this and a bit of salt and pepper. If you wanted to, you could also add different spices, but you honestly won't need to because the flavors of each individual ingredient here will actually pop as you cook them. So you don't need to do too much to it because we're calling this a superfood salad because we want to focus on the flavors of the actual ingredients that we're using. So now that our baby marrow is grilling over there, I'm gonna get started with our dressing. And it's also a very simple recipe. Basically two ingredients if you're not adding, if you're not in including the salt and pepper. So I've got some red wine vinegar over here. If you want to, if you prefer, you can also use balsamic vinegar. Um, you, I just wanted to change it up because we always use balsamic vinegar as a dressing, so why not change it up a bit? And when it comes to my dressings, I also like to make sure that I add salt and pepper to season my dressing because it also is an alum element or an ingredient in your, in your salad as well. So it also would be nice for it to be seasoned. And into this, I also like to make sure that when I make my salad, I put it more on a three to one ratio in terms of my olive oil or my oil be the three and the liquid, whether it be lemon juice or vinegar, be the one. The reason for that is I'd like the dressing to actually stick onto whatever um, recipe or ingredient that I'm using. So in here, it basically makes sure that it doesn't just run off of the salad. And you just shake it up, put whatever ingredients you've chosen to put into the dressing, shake it up, and that's basically it. As you can see, it goes uh, very nicely together. We don't want it to emulsify because we don't want it to be a thick dressing, we just want it to be nicely flavored. So our baby marrow is already nicely charred. Just take it off of the pan, because all you want is these grill marks. You don't want too much, you don't want to burn it, you just want to get those beautiful marks on there. And the best thing about it is that it's quick, and you still want the crunch in it, so you don't want to overcook this baby marrow. And I'm gonna just get started with the last, or second last part of this dressing, which, with the salad rather, which is the red pepper. So I've roasted our red pepper, I'm sure you know, we've said this to you, South Africa, the simplest way to roast your red pepper, basically put some oil over it, um, put it in the oven, and then it gets roasted. Or, if you'd like to, if you do have a gas uh, stove, you can actually just put it directly onto the heat. Um, the skin on the outside will char and add an additional layer of flavor. And then the 
red pepper itself will actually get nicely roasted and charred and delicious. So now that it's roasted, I removed the skin on the outside and all I'm doing now is I'm basically just slicing it up and adding, um, basically adding it to our salad now. So as you can see, I mentioned earlier, we've got all this veg in the salad. If you don't want to just make it vegetarian, you can actually add some protein in the form of, um, you can add eggs if you'd like to, you can add chicken, it's completely up to you. I'm going to start assembling this recipe. It starts with, like I mentioned, our baby spinach, which is very high in antioxidants. A lot of these ingredients here are high in um, vitamins and minerals, so at least you know that you're getting a lot of um, minerals and, mit uh, and, vit uh, and vitamins in here. It's a nutritious but very, very healthy salad as well. Very light, very simple. You don't have to worry about going too much into, you know, um, adding unnecessary things. All you want is to flavor up your, your salad by making sure you cook each individual ingredient and then all of that together makes an amazing salad. So we've put our greens here which is our baby spinach like I mentioned. The rocket adds that herbiness to it. I'm putting in my slivers of baby marrow that I've just nicely charred. You can see this is the green part of the salad. I'm about to go in with the rest of the colors that look amazing. We've got the yellow from the petty pans and what I've done, just done with them is just nicely charred them on the outside. Another thing about that is people don't like petty pans because once it's cooked it gets very soggy and soft. I'm one of those people but you don't have to worry about it if you're doing it on the pan. We've got our um, cranberries over there. We've got some walnuts that I'm just going to crush onto there. We've got our dressing that we put on top as well. And you just basically put it on top. You just dress it over the salad. You don't want to put too much. You just want enough. And then just dress it on top with our Parmesan shavings that we've put over there. In South Africa, I don't know if you wouldn't want to have this, but I'm already, like my mouth is already watering. I want to have this salad. But if you want all the recipe details, do go to afternoonexpress.co.za because it is important that we take the right steps to maintain a healthy and strong immune system. Immuenza helps to support a healthy immune system and assist in keeping you healthy and protected. So make Make sure to tune in on Monday when we announce the lucky winner of this week's Immuenza competition.